Salutations, people of the internet and the world. This is Andrea Kleins again, the owner and operator of Phantom Wolf Studio, and welcome to our second week of our eight-part miniseries. As you can see from the screen, today is our second book review, uh, two book reviews. So let's dive in, shall we? This we'll be looking at today is Betros and Minaza Etoile Imprig Romance by Claire Collins. It's the first of a three-part book series. Excerpt from Goodread.com. Let's see what Goodread has to say about this book, shall we? Life's no fairy tale, especially for an Omega. When William's father names him heir to the throne, it kicks off an event the Alpha has both longed for and dreaded, the courtship contest. In a matter of weeks, he has to choose the two people he spends the rest of his life with. He has Elliot his best friend in secret love, but his family cares more about making the right kind of mass, less about the little things like love and happiness. Will doesn't want to end up in an unhappy marriage like his father, and he doesn't share his family's losing of omegas. Elliot loves Will with all his heart, and the long waits for them to be together is almost over. But first, he has to help Will with the difficult task of choosing the third person to share their life with. When he meets Cinder, he knows there's something special about the Shy Omega. Choosing an Omega wouldn't be easy given the kingdom's past, but he determined they'll make it work until he realized there's more working against them than simply jealousy and family politics. Like every Omega in their island's kingdom, Cinder dreams of being in invited to the palace and the princess falling in love with him. Too bad that only happens in fairy tales. When his stepfather sabotages any chances he has of being selected, Slender thinks it's time to let go of his dreams. But when a twist of fate sees him wind up in the palace anyways, he has the chance he's always wanted. He finds himself dealing with jealous, jealous betas, his bully of a stepbrother, and a royal family who wants to pretend omegas don't exist. Even that will deter him when he finally sets his eyes on Prince William and his close friend Elliot. But someone in the palace is determined to put a stop to things, and when Cinder finds himself in prison, their fairy tale romance hangs in the balance. Nice description. And enticing, too characters. Cinder Bear, Omega, comes from a family who went from being semi-wealthy to poor, loves horses, has a cat named Gus, mother died from illness, father also deceased, has an evil stepfather and a conniving beta stepbrother. He has blue eyes, which are rare for Omegas in this universe. He, has, he was forced to leave school before high school, and became a servant to his stepfather. Elliot Langeris, Beta, he's a captain in the military, along with a medic in the military. He likes to fly, he's compassionate, never backs down when someone's in danger. He has a younger sister, father's chief of police. Him and William have been lovers for years under the table. He has a wicked sense of humor, along with a, being a silver-tongued devil which you see how he's charmed people throughout the books. William, one of the three, um, ugh, one of the three Alpha Princes. Alpha, he's the crown prince. He's a medic in the military. He likes chocolate. He's very compassionate. He has two brothers, Prince James and Alec. His father is king, mother is the queen, and beta father is the duke. He must find two spouses to rule. 
He's intelligent and cunning, which you see as he tries to plan out um, rescuing his um, Omega after the conspiracy, but we'll talk about later. He's very romantic. You see it with his mates. He's very compassionate, likes doing gestures. This way it's affection for them. He's one who does not jump to conclusions when it, things are not adding up, which you see later in the book when it comes to the mystery of what happened to his uncle and what's going on with his mates. World setting. This story takes place in a modern day human omegaverse in fantasy kingdom where alphas and betas have more rights than omegas. This kingdom is on an island. Their nearest neighboring countries are a day away by boat or plane. In this world, the royals have two spouses, originally a beta and omega. After the former crown prince Harry's assassination, they didn't like having an Omega as part of the royal family, and if any gave birth to an Omega, they were not allowed to come anywhere near the palace. The world also has a Cinderella baseline to it regarding names like Gus, descriptions of buildings like the manor we see Cinder living in, has a lot of detailing similar to Cinderella's um, manor, and behavior. The stepdad seriously acts like the um, evil stepmothers, and like the stepbrother acts like the evil stepsisters. So that's where the mirror is tied into those. This world also is a bachelor bachelorette formatting when they finding the spouse for the next king. As you see in the story, when the golden flag raids, it's time to pick a new royal out of the immediate royal family, and to start the competition to find their spouses. There's also a stick a rebel movement of people wanting omega rights who get go to extremes we see this we get hints at in the story there's bombs by these people they're very concerned about omega activists getting into the castle because they're worried about assassination stamp so they felt like this what happened with prince harry which we'll get into later that's a big thing really big Warning! Spoiler alerts! If you are not a fan of spoilers, I recommend to go to the part of the video where it says end of spoilers to see the rest of the video. But if you are okay with spoilers, please continue.